Absolutely. Um, so I've certainly had sponsors and, you know, I say thank you over and over again to the people who did sponsor me. So the people, um, the first one who I think really gave me a shot was Rob Holder when I was at EDS. So when I was hired into EDS, I was hired as a senior systems engineer. I was doing a lot of hands-on development, um, which is where I really got my start in IT. But he came up to me and said, would you be interested in being CTO? I didn't know a lot about the role, but I knew it was higher than what I was doing. I said, absolutely. So he took a shot on me, um, gave me the first opportunity to be C-level. Um, and after that, I've had several other sponsors, uh, Rashern Baker being another one when he became county executive for Prince George's County. Um, he said, hey, Bernard, I want you to come in and I want you to be CIO. Um, so he gave me a shot and I've had those along the way. Um, in terms of mentors, I mean, these were people uh, there are multiple people who have served as mentors, um, you know, and those were people that I looked up to, people who were successful. They had certain characteristics that I wanted to emulate. So one of them was Ron Owens. He used to be um, one of the partners in an advertising firm called Laughlin, Marinasio and Owens. And he was, I think, one of the first black millionaires I really had the chance to rub shoulders with. And I remember talking to him and he really emphasized the importance of working hard and playing hard. There was another um, gentleman, Cliff Barnes, who was a partner in, in the law firm Epstein Becker Green. And Cliff also emphasized the importance of working hard and playing hard. Uh, so there were certain things that I took from them as mentors because they were very successful black men who made a lot of money, but they also made sure that when it, the time came from, for them to recharge, they did so. So those were definitely things that I picked up from them. But the mentors, like I said, these were people that had certain characteristics that I wanted to emulate. The sponsors were certain people that made sure that my career path was on the right trajectory. And sometimes people volunteer to be in those roles and sometimes you have to ask people. Um, and I right. think that's really important. So what was the nexus of your mentorship group? And I think you've mentored over 20 some odd young people, uh, right? Yeah, so for the group that I mentor now, um, these are all people that formerly served as interns or apprentices, um, either at Prince George's County or WSSC. And these are all young people that I identified that I think were a high potential. So I told them at the time, hey, you're gonna be stuck with me for life because I wanted to make sure that as they started their careers, I was giving them certain pointers to make sure that they were pushing in the right direction. And it's not just about doing the right things to succeed, but also making sure that you're taking care of yourself. So a big part of what I emphasize with them is just making sure that they have self-awareness. And we even have a session tonight. Um, so tonight at 5.30, we're talking about finite versus an infinite mindset. You know, just how you limit yourself in terms of your thinking. So those are the kinds of things we talk about on a monthly basis. I love it. That's wonderful. So the session I came to, you asked me to come in and help with branding. And it was, how do we tell our story or how do we share our stories in powerful ways during interviews? 